Welcome back to my channel, Metal Language, and we're going to discuss how to find the percentiles for ungrouped data. So, let's start with the introduction. Ano ba ang percentiles? Percentiles are position measures used in educational and health-related fields to indicate of an individual in a group. So, it is symbolized by the letter P, tapos may sub na number. P1 hanggang P99. At ito ay 100 groups. Okay, so ano ba yung formula na gagamitin natin? So, meron tayo dito, I over 100, over mo ng 100, tapos multiply mo siya sa N plus 1, tapos saan mo maalagay si TH. Remember, ang TH natin dito ay hindi variable. So yung first, second, third, fourth, and so on. So, so formula natin, ang I, that could be 1, 2, 3, hanggang 99. At ang N naman will be the number of samples. Kung ilan yung nakalagay sa samples, yun yung N. So, let's start with the first example. So, find P sub 25, or percentile, percentile 25, P 38, and P 69 of the following set of data. 10, 8, 3, 2, 1, 12, 15, 17, 18, 20, and 11. Okay. So we have 11 numbers. The first thing you will do is you have to arrange it to into ascending order. Like so. So magiging 1, 2, 3, hanggang 20. So na arrange ko na siya from lowest to highest. Next, lagay mo yung formula. So in nilagay ko yung formula, alam natin ang N ay 11. Okay? And... Uh, Let's go with the first one, P25. So, pwede mo yung I ng 25 at yung N, lagay ko ni, palitan ko na siya, gawin ko na siyang 11. So, that will be 25 over mo ng 100. Multiply mo siya sa the quantity 11 plus 1. At lagay mo yung TH. Okay, solve for it. So, simplify mo muna, 25 over mo ng 100, that will be 0. 0.25 at yung sa loob ng parentheses 11 plus 1 that will be 12 and the final answer will be 3 so lagay mo yung th na 3 that will be 3rd hanapin daw natin yung 3rd number so ang 3rd number dito ay 3 okay so ang um, p sub 25 or percentile, percentile 25 ay 3 daw dun sa data na to Let's go to P38. So again, lagi ko agad yung formula at lagi na natin yung mga values para makuha P38. So ang I natin, that will be 38. Ang denominator will be 100. Sa parentheses naman, same naman din kung ano yung ginawa mo kanina, 11 plus 1. Kasi 11 yung number of samples natin. Let's move on. Simplify natin. 38 Divide mo ng 100, that will be 0 0.38. At ang nasolob ng parentheses, that will be 12. Simplify murder, and we have 4.56. Oh no, so may decimal siya. It's not an integer. So paano natin gagawin yan? Okay, so dito papasok si interpolation formula. So we have this one. Yung percentile is equal to L plus D. Multiply mo sa, siya sa H minus L. Gagamitin mo lang to kapag hindi siya integer or may decimal siya. So, ang L natin will be the lower number. Lower number kapag niround down mo yung sa sagot. At yung D naman, that will be the decimal value. At ang H, that will be the higher number. So, let's go. So, balik tayo dun sa problem kanina. So, ang sagot ay 4.56. Lagi ka na agad yung formula. And, to round down mo ang 4, that will be 4. At pag ni-round up mo siya, that will be 5. Napin mo na ngayon ang 4th number at ang 5th number. So, ang 4th number natin dito, that will be 8. Okay? At ang 5th number, that will be 10. So, 
substitute ko. So, sa so lower, yung L palitan ko na that will be A. At like, yung isa high, higher number, then minus A tayo. Ang decimal natin, that will be 0 0.56. Yung decimal natin, yung sobra. So, simplify natin siya para makuha natin yung final answer. And you will arrive at 9.12. So, 10 minus 8 muna, 2 times 1 ng 0.56, at mag-add ka ng 8. That will be 9.12. So, ang final answer natin para sa 38 percentile ay 9.12. Now, let's go to P69 or percentile 69. Okay, so dito, naging magad yung formula. And the next step, you have to substitute it. Okay? So, dito, palitan ko lang lahat. So, yung PC, PI magiging P69 at equal siya sa 69 over 100. So, loob ng parentheses, that will be 11 plus 1 at yung nakalagay na TH sa labas ng parentheses. Next, you have to simplify it. So, 69 over 100, that will be 0 0.69 at sa loob ng parentheses, that will be 12. Simplify further, that will be 8.28 at yung th. So dahil may decimal tayo na sagot, we have to use the interpolation formula. So, gagawin natin, nalagay natin yung formula for the interpolation. So nalagay ko na siya, and we need to substitute it. So yung lower number, and you round up 8.28, that will be 8. At ang, you round up mo siya, that will be 9. So, anapin mo yung 8, yung pangwalo, at ang pangsyam dun sa data. So, that will be 15 and 17. Ilagay mo na siya dun sa formula natin. That will be 15 plus point, 0 0.28, kasi 0 0.28 ay decimal. At yung H naman, that will be 17. So, 17 minus 15, that will be 2. Multiply mo sa 0 0.28. At mag-add ka ng 15. And the final answer will be 15.56. And here is the summary of the answer. So, P25 natin, percentile 25, or 25th percentile. That will be 3. Ang 38th percentile natin dito ay 9.12. And P sub 69, that will be 15.56. And that's the end of the lesson on how to find the percentiles of 4 on group data. And if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or kung may assignment kayo, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification para update kayo sa bagong videos ng Math and Language. I'll see you again. Thank you. Goodbye.